Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in our parallel playthrough of the Tour de France 2021 in Pro Cycling Manager 2021 and today is the last it's time trial of this year's tour, stage number 20 and it is a long time trial, 30.6 kilometers of flat terrain, mostly flat, a few little hills here and there uh, and yeah, this is pretty straightforward. We are still in fifth overall for the uh, yellow jersey so uh, that is on target for what we uh, were dreaming about at the start of the tour and of course no one is beating Pogaccia and Roglic here but uh, yes uh, first and second in green currently in the hands of David Ballerini and yes solid looking uh, Ballerini is doing well but that doesn't help him in the time trial so today is Alaphilippe's day hopefully I really hope so uh, please, please have a good race day condition because that might make the difference between being eaten up by Garen Thomas and not beating Miguel Angel Lopez and uh, thus l basically being in sixth of all and us losing um, to our own goals that we had set. And yeah, that's not something I want to do. It's very much RN Jesus who needs to help us now. So how, how about that? Um, other than that, let's take a look. Kasper Asgren is supposedly one of the favorites. I somehow doubt that, but we shall have a look. Maybe he has a really, really good day. Wouldn't that be nice? A time trial that will finish in Saint-Emilion. This is the last major rendezvous for the general classification. And let's hope it's a vintage occasion. The race organizers have laid out an inviting route that combines terrain favorable to the pure rulers, with some short climbs after the halfway point that will require a careful management of effort. Looking back in time, the last stage of the tour to finish in saint emilion was in 1996, when the German Jan Ulrich edged out King Miguel in Durain in a very long time trial. <laughs> it looks like Cavendish is second up which means that he's second to last in the general standings. 178th. Yeah, 5 hours 19 back. All right, yeah, still making the time cut, though. Will be interesting to see how uh, how rapid we can race this. He's certainly not the best time, uh, time trialer. Uh, decent resistance and a decent race day condition. Zero. That's not too shabby after three weeks of racing. So what are we going to do? We're just trying out where we are at here. 75, let's see how we go. And that seems about right. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, let's take a look at the course. There are... Ugh, that's a tiny little slope. There's nothing really we need to do there. Um, could use some red at some point but that also eats into the yellow too much. So I, I think I'm going to use the, the red as a uh, distance extender instead of a speed up tool. And here we have first place out of two um, at 12 minutes 26. Okay, that was actually a little bit on the low side. So 77 would have been better overall on average. That's good to learn. The finish is slightly creeping up though. We need to save something for that. And Cavendish goes hard. Uh, ha is that hard? Yeah, okay, it's 3% upwards. So yeah, that, that was pretty hard going almost 50 there. Uh, all right. Not much we can do here really. Just riding along at a hopefully steady effort. That should be giving us the best results in a flat stage like this. Whew, that's a speedy bastard. Debridge, how dare you, sir, just overtake the Merkov like this. Look at him, riding away from us. And we are crossing the line at... Uh, yeah, fourth, yes. Two minutes, 12 down. And Debridge is taking it. 35-48. Ballerini is headed uh, out as well. He's not too bad a time trialer. He's a, basically a really good all-rounder with uh, some specs of excellence in flat as well as sprinting. Not too shabby a rider for sure. Um, winning the green jersey in the Tour is quite the accomplishment. So, 
let's take a look at what do we want to do with you. Uh, do you want to go hard today? Or does it actually matter in this game if you go hard on the time trial or not? I'm not sure. I would think no, it doesn't really. So uh, let's let's try and go a decent pace with you. And there we have Kasper Asgren on the ramp. 83 flat today, 81 time trial. Yeah, that's not too bad. So 79 seems to be a bit on the high side. Let's see if uh, our red bar works as the range extender that we are wanting to use it as. That's the final kilometer. We're now sapping that red bar, keeping our pace. And that seems to be working out exactly to the line without changing anything. Yep, that is perfect. And the same for Ballerini. Yep, it's exactly the same. Oh, that's a good time too. Just 45 seconds down. Look at him. Way to go, man. Now, uh, Kasper Osgren, with this perfect strategy of just setting and forgetting it at 79, let's see what we can do. Uh, he seems to be a little stronger than the rest there. Final kilometer. Now getting into the red. Let's go a little harder. Let's go harder. Let's go harder. Go harder. Go harder. Go harder. Accelerate. Boom. Cross in first. 42 seconds on Durbridge and Valscheid. Ooh, yeah. T not even, no, it's one minute on Tony Martin. Not too shabby. Let's see if anyone can stand up to that time. I believe they can, but let's see what happens. Oh, Devenance is pretty trashed today. Yeah, let's take it easy with him. You go, mate. And Cataneo is on the ramp. He is in 65th place overall, 1 hour 26 down. Yeah, we didn't ride with him properly. Um, never really used him as a good helper either. Kind of threw him uh, to the wayside because Devonance was such a beast over the tour. Oh no! Are you kidding me? Stefan Kung is same time as Kasper Asgren and he's supposedly a little bit faster. You bastard! Ooh, Cataneo throwing down a really good time. Third. Nice. Yeah, he's a strong time trialer. Michael Matthews taking the lead here. That was a strong ride. All right, Alaphilippe, please. Whew, okay. This doesn't look too terrible, does it? 78 for the time trial today. That's solid. Resistance, uh, 81. All right, that's a plus one, I assume. So uh, let's get it moving, mate. Go off the ramp, please, not too early. And off you go. Plus one, yes. Yes, it is. So 79 we go. That is our strategy. <laughs> Beautiful strategy. Let's watch the intermediate times for the first uh, chrono here. For this one. Right there at kilometer nine. And where do we place for this one? He's setting a really good pace. Yeah, this is looking good, but... Uh, well, we're not making it on there. 47. 44 down? You're not that bad a rider. Are you, You're losing 44 seconds. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Uh, that's a quality field then, yeah. Um, okay. Oh, Van Art is just crushing face. Holy shit! He's taking forty-three seconds on Kasper Asgren in the on the second chrono, at twenty-two kilometers. Man. And here we go. Second chrono is coming up. And where is it? There, there it comes. There it comes. Where are we at? 22nd. 1 minute 7 down. So we haven't lost that much time in this sector. Ooh, just outside of this list. Uh, not far off. 2 seconds off this list. Let's see if we can make it into the list with the final sector. Alright, moving hard. There's the final kilometer. We still have some juice in us. You need to go harder, mate. Go 95. Go, go, go. Nuke it. Nuke it, nuke it, nuke it. Go, go, go. Sprint, 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 sprint. Hammer it. And that is looking perfect.
Boom. Yes. Kept the speed all the way to the end. Sixth. Sixth? One minute nine down. Sixth. Okay. 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 I didn't expect it to make, make it that far up the list. Uh, do I read this correct? Sixth. There we are. Oh. oh. Garen Thomas. Ooh. Well. Yeah. Uran is... Oh, no. He's really close, too. He must have had a really damn good day. Okay, well. And... That, oh, man. Oh, this is this is all tied. We are not... Uh, we are going to be overtaken by Garen Thomas. We didn't have that much advantage, did we? Uh, did we have 19 seconds? Did we actually have 19 seconds? Ooh, okay. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Van Aert crushes it. Just absolutely crushes it. We are on the podium with Kaspar Asgren. Garen Thomas makes it to fifth. Roglic in sixth. We don't care. Uh, seventh, Julian Alaphilippe. Not bad. Cut an ear there. And we are still in fifth. But Garen Thomas uh, did overtake us. And we did overtake uh, Angel Lopez. A, a lot. That was, that was that, not even fucking close. Okay. Well, now look at that. We are in fifth, but we are just three seconds down from Garen Thomas. Now that is quite something. And uh, Rigoberto Uran did have a fantastic time trial there. Bogacar and Roglic, so close. And then five minutes of and 30 seconds of nothing. Ah, uh, yes. So... Is it possible to beat Garen Thomas now? If we somehow manage to have a good day on the Champs-Élysées and get Alaphilippe dragged to a second place or third place finish, then the answer is yes. Can we do that? Well, we did it on the last stage. There we finished second with Alaphilippe. So maybe we can do a repeat of that, but that will be super hard. So, uh, yes, because you normally don't get Caleb Ewan to just shit himself and die on the... Uh, uh, and hit the brakes, like, one kilometer away from the finish. So, um, hmm, I, I don't know, but we shall see. This is going to be interesting. The final stage awaits, and I hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time. Hey, you there. I heard you like cycling games. I think I got something for you here. The Cyclist Tactics is a turn-based strategy game in which you lead a small team of professional cyclists from humble beginnings to competing for the top of the podium in the toughest and most prestigious cycling events in the world. In the highly tactical, procedurally generated races, success comes about when superior decision-making meets careful resource management and planning. Teamwork is essential to keep your leaders protected, avoid peloton pulling duties, create lactate threshold crushing lead outs and to set up your lead rider in perfect position for the final dash. Guide your team's riders as they gain skills and progress from struggling eager novices to monument winning superstars with a hefty price tag and more flaws than they started with. If you fancy Nuance tactics where decision making is king, Follow the game's development and try out the demo.